What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's JJ and Mike. And on Friday night at the Honda Center, it was turned into Area 49 as your Long Beach State 49ers taking on the UC Riverside Highlanders in the Big West Basketball Semifinal. They packed five buses of maniacs in there ready to get loud and rowdy because it's tournament time. Point guard Casper Ware leading the way with a game-high 23 points in the win over UC Irvine in the first round, but when he was injured in the second half, it was Larry Anderson and the teammates stepping up. Gonna have to do that again tonight against a very good Highlanders team. Mr. Borum Decorum leading those Highlanders as they're looking for a second straight upset. Dan Munson said before the game his team was focused. Well, it showed in the first half as Robinson takes this one off the backboard and gives it to LAX, who's clear for flight path. Long Beach off and running. Literally off and running. They turned this one into a track meet. Two buckets here from the paint, but for the most part, they were out in transition thanks to a very focused effort on defense. The turnover again. It's Anderson getting it going with the kiss and one. 15-0, yeah, you see it, a 15-0 run to start this one, but as has been the case for Riverside all year long, they are not gonna go quietly into the night. Head coach Dan Munson pointing out that that has been their trademark, but it was plays like this. Phil Martin gets the huge dunk and goes down with a knee injury. He would return, but you're right, Mike, it was all the plays like that. Anything that could go either way went the way of the guys wearing white, Brandon Nevins making a hustle play right there and giving Greg Plater a chance to be, well, Greg Plater. Plater's only ever needed a chance. Didn't have a great game against Irvine, but rebounded to have a great performance here. Three threes in the first half. And then with time ticking down at the end of the first half, Larry Anderson. Ooh, showing the range, it's gotta be the shoes, 40 to 28 at the half. Pretty nice kicks and a pretty fresh uni too, saluting Edis as they take a 12 point lead. More good shooting from the outside, Long Beach State went nine for 17 behind the arc. Greg Plater putting them up 20. So this one's over, right? <laughs> you haven't seen Long Beach Riverside games if you think it's over. Yeah, it's like a Friday the 13th movie, just when you think the villain has been slain, of course he's gonna pop out for one more run at it and sloppy play from the 49ers let the Riverside High Highlanders right back in. Martin with a team high 14 points. It's an eight point game with a little over five minutes left, but never fear, Casper's here. The friendly guard dishing it to all of his teammates, finding Anderson and then finding Plater. Plater was huge with five of those threes for 17 points for GP3. And then Casper finding the open spots on the floor and hitting it from distance. He had 16 points, but look at this one. Here they come, one more time, of course. Pulling it to within six points, but Ware, who struggled offensively for most of the night, as always, had exactly what his team needed down the stretch. And then when trying to shoot their way back into the game, it's so apropos that even though he didn't have his best game, Larry Anderson leading the team with 21 points, it's Ware with the Cascade MVP all over him. 74-63. Niners are going to the ship. They will play in the Big West Championship game on Saturday night. That was their goal at the beginning of the season. Not picked to be there by those Big West coaches, but they've showed them by making it to the final game. Come back to GazetteSports.com if you can't make it to Honda Center because we've got Long Beach State men's basketball covered.